Controversy brewing tonight over a proposed pipeline that would go straight through the town of Pembroke in Niagara County. We're following this developing story on 7 Eyewitness News. It's a case of not in my backyard with people ready to stand up and fight national fuel. Many say it's a quality of life issue. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins on the story tonight. Springtime in Pendleton is in full bloom, but this view that neighbors enjoy so much could soon be gone. It's wrong, you know, and they should put a stop to it. Paula Hargreaves is just one of several concerned residents doing everything they can to keep national fuel from moving forward with its Northern Access 2016 project. The project will enlarge existing 16-inch pipe to 24 inches and carry natural gas from Pennsylvania to Canada. It also calls for the construction of a 22,000 horsepower gas compressor station to be built on 40 acres of land, land that sits right in the backyards of many homes. These compressors are going to be running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, non-stop. Not only do they give off noise, but they also are going to give off vibrations. They're also going to give off emissions from those chimneys of a nighttime. They're going to be lit up like a Christmas tree. But before any ground is broken, residents want at the very least a study done to examine all possible effects. They also don't see any benefits from the Northern Access Project for Pendleton, New York State, or even the country. I asked National Fuel if at least people in Pendleton who have propane um, are going to get gas, natural gas, and they go, no, we're sending it directly from Pennsylvania to Canada. No offense to the Canadians, but why do they get to keep their backyards nice? Why do they get to sleep at night without this thing making a noise all night and this glow in the sky? Why do they get to keep all their wildlife and stuff around them when ours is ruined just so they can have cheaper natural gas? Now, the residents have formed the Pendleton Action Team, and they're encouraging others to attend a public input meeting being held this Wednesday. More information is available on WKBW.com. Now, I've reached out to National Fuel, but have not heard back just yet. Joe Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.